G'day everyone. Welcome to X Art. I'm Chrissy. Thanks for joining me and um, in this painting demonstration I'll be painting with pastels on paper. The art supplies I'll be painting with are pan pastels, soft pastels and pastel pencils. The surface I'm using is pastel matte. This colour paper is anthracite like a dark char charcoal -y, uh, shade and it is uh, 360 GSM it is acid free and this sheet comes from a pad of 12 it's 30 by 40 centimeters they also come in smaller sizes and in large sheets and boards um, if you can get your hands on them so this painting is part of my element collection and this lady is Zafira. She is the uh, fire queen of spades, so I'm up to the spades. Um, I've had a, a few questions about how I apply uh, pastels on paper and uh, that in the time lapses um, everything seems to happen so quickly that you can't really see what I'm doing. So I thought to uh, slow things right down and hopefully trying not to make this video too long for you to view. So in my planning drawing stage of this painting, I realised that there were quite a few details in each section and of course um, I use pastel pencils for details, but I, I thought uh, what would happen if I used a, a very small paintbrush uh, to help with the details also. And then I thought to myself, I'm sure other people have thought about this and discovered this. Uh, so I thought, you know, uh, and I thought that I wouldn't have been the, the first to think about this for sure. Um, so, well, you see, the thing with me is, is that I like to paint quite tightly. But, you know, every now and again, like I do break out and um, paint loosely, but um, doesn't happen very often. So I quite liked uh, that I could use um, a paintbrush. Uh, to apply pan pastels and I also used it to move all the other pastels around in the in the paper or the tooth of the paper. Uh, not sure why it worked for me but um, I think it was the paper for sure yet again uh, pastel map. So the brush that I used is a uh, synthetic brush. I tried bristles that were very soft uh, you know the ones that you would use for a watercolor brush um, I found that it was just too soft and then I tried one that, uh, that, that you would use for an oil or an acrylic painting and that seemed to, um, I think, to be the, um, the right mix. So, uh, well, the feel, so the feel of the brush was uh, like a medium soft. The one that I'm using, uh, that I use quite a lot in this painting is it's a, it's a number eight Zen, Z-E-N, and it's from Royal and Langnickel. Now I had to say that very slowly because I can never pronounce that properly. Royal and Langnickel brush, um, which I purchased uh, from the UK. Now the name escapes me from which art shop that I bought it from, but I'm sure that if you Googled it, um, there would probably be an art supply shop somewhere that sells them. So, you know, so I go ahead with this process the whole way through this painting and I'm chopping and changing tools and techniques and um, so long as I'm getting the effect that I want. And I'm sure uh, the more I use the brush technique, um, the better I'll get. So, you know, practice. So I didn't include, there's a tiger, so I didn't include the tiger in this demonstration um, as I was painting this in a live stream or just the base of this in the live, st uh, live stream. Um, so I'll put a, a little pop-up card, um, that, that's if you'd like to see how I started that anyway. So for all of those animal portrait artists um, out there, please be kind, don't judge me too harshly uh, as I'm just starting to uh, get into painting animals. So 
So what I might do is just uh, leave you to view the, um, the rest of the demonstration. But you know, thank you for watching and uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe. And until the next time, bye for now.